Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Evan Schneider, and today I wanted to just give you a quick demo of how the Spectra LUT pack works in DaVinci Resolve, and also some of my favorite features and how to use it on different types of footage. So when you download the LUT pack, you're going to get um, this folder. To install the LUTs in DaVinci Resolve, um, you want to go to the project settings, Right here, you can hit Shift-9 as well. Um, once you're in there, you wanna go to Color Management, and then you wanna scroll down, and under Lookup Tables, you want to go to Open LUT Folder. This will take you to the uh, LUT folder within DaVinci Resolve. So we'll go to the Spectra LUT Pack, and copy LC Spectra, and paste it right here. And then you wanna go inside this folder, and go to the bonus LUTs, select all of these and paste them in with those. So once you have all of your LUTs in this folder, you can go back to Resolve and you just hit Update Lists and we'll save from there. So we're actually going to create a bit of a node structure here. So my first node is just going to be my primary and then I'm gonna make a serial node after. I'm gonna label this LUT. And then I'm gonna make one more node and label it secondary. On the LUT node, you can either right click this and then go to LUTs, 3D LUT. Then you have LC Spectra right in here. Um, the other option that you can do is to click LUTs up here and then scroll down to LC Spectra. And if you go to the thumbnail view, you can actually see a preview of each LUT, which is kind of helpful. For me, I just like to go through the list because uh, it's a little bit easier to click through. So you can just start kind of double clicking on the LUTs and trying different ones, seeing how they all work. Integra 4 looks pretty good to me. Um, if you wanted to make exposure or white balance adjustments, you would do that on your primary node before the LUT. So say I wanna bring the highlights down, they look okay in the scopes, but um, if I wanted to bring those down, I could just go to the gain and bring those down a little bit. Say I wanna bring the midtones up, make his skin a little bit brighter. That's looking pretty good for a minor adjustment. In the secondary tab after the LUT um, is if you wanna adjust any final parameters like um, the shadows look a little bit lifted here, so I could just bump those shadows down to be right above the black point um, to just give it some good contrast. If you ever wanna change the LUT, you can just go right back to this node and say I wanna change it to uh, Alliance or Fairmont 1. Um, looks pretty good, that's before, after. Um, if the LUT is looking a little bit strong on your footage, uh, you can go to this tab, the key tab, and um, in key output, you can adjust the gain. Um, so you can back it off all the way, um, or you know, just figure out where it looks the most natural. Um, so we can set that to like 0.75%. Um, so that's a little bit less strong. Uh, you can always adjust this um, if the LUT is, you know, too strong for your footage. So that's kind of the basic workflow for um, footage that's in Rec. 709. Um, for this shot, it was shot in um, D-Log um, on a drone. So for this one, we actually need to convert it to Rec. 709 before applying the creative LUT. Um, so for this example, I'm just going to add some simple contrast using um, this parameter. I'm just going to increase it. Uh, not too much, but just a good amount that we have a little more contrast. And then I'm just going to increase the saturation a little bit as well. So that's before and after. And I'll label this primary. Then after this node, I'm going to make a serial node. I'm gonna label it LUT. And this is where I'm gonna apply the creative LUT. So let's go for Vantage, nice and warm. And instantly you can see that that does a really good job on the footage. 
that's before and after. Really softens the highlights and makes everything nice and warm with a good teal tone in the water. Um, it is looking a little bit strong, so I think I'm gonna go back to my primary and I'm just gonna adjust the offset a little bit to come up a little bit and the pivot. Um, so you can see here that I'm getting a little more detail in the shadows. I'm not clipping at all, which is good. So that looks pretty nice. This is before, this is after. If I wanted to adjust the LUT further, I could always make another node, call it secondary. Say I wanna bring the highlights up a little bit. I can do that. Finally, on the last clip, um, this clip was shot on a Fuji X-T3 in F-Log. Um, and so this is another example of having to convert a log image to Rec. 709 before the creative LUT. So for this example, um, I'm actually going to use Fuji's F-Log to Eterna uh, conversion LUT. Um, it's always a good idea to use the camera manufacturer's um, official conversion LUTs because they know the color science, um, they know the sensor, they know how to get the most out of the image, um, and you can always get them for free on the manufacturer's websites. So I have those loaded into Utility, and I'm gonna use the F-Log to Eterna LUT um, to get it into a Rec. 709 space. Um, so instantly that does a really great job. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna label that conversion. I'm gonna make a serial node and I'm gonna label this LUT. And then I'm actually going to make a serial node before the conversion, call this primary. And then I'll make one more node for secondary. Um, now in the LUT node, I'm going to use, let's do Monaco 2. Monaco is a really good uh, collection for more moody scenes um, and Monaco 2 is um, nice and warm so let's apply that there that's looking really good already that's before and after um, I think it brings down the exposure a little bit so I'm gonna go to my primary it's always best to do white balance and exposure corrections before any conversion LUTs um, so that you're working in the F-Log color space. Um, and so for this one, I'm just gonna use my offset wheel. I'm just gonna bring the offset up a little bit to increase the exposure of the entire image. And then I'm also going to, I feel like the image could use a little bit um, cooler tones, so in the ocean to get those blue tones back. So I'm just gonna bring the offset um, towards kind of like blue, kind of down, find a good medium. Somewhere right there. Um, so you can see the primary, I brought it up a little bit, cooled it down. Um, I can also increase the saturation a little bit. Let's put it to 60, maybe 70 just get some more of those different colors in there. Um, and then finally, in my secondary, I'm just gonna bring this down, make sure my black point is good to go. And yeah, that's pretty good workflow for that clip. So this is before and after. So you can see in just a few minutes, um, we have a really beautiful shot um, that was relatively simple and easy to color grade. We have our primary, our F-Log to Rec. 709 conversion, and then we have our LUT, which is Monaco 2, nice and warm, and then our secondary correction, just to bring those blacks down to where they should be. So I hope this was helpful. Um, this is kind of a little demo of how you can use our LUTs really powerfully in DaVinci Resolve. Um, email us if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed.